Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today is a great day for our Galaxy Watch 4s, and to, that is because today Google Assistant has been officially released for the Galaxy Watch 4. I thought I'd just quickly go through the install process and uh, take a look at it and see what we got. So, yeah. Super excited, let's get down here on this a little bit. Okay, all you need to do is uh, go to your Play Store on your watch. Do a quick search. Assistant. Should pull right up and you'll see uh, the Assistant right there. Looking good. Clack that, mine says update because I've installed it and uninstalled it at least one time. And we're going to go update right here. It's going to download. As you can see, it's 11 megabytes. Pretty small file, not too bad. Let's go into installing mode. All right, once we get uh, installed, you're going to get an open button. So go ahead and hit open. And it's going to ask you to activate Google Assistant on this particular watch. So you're going to hit get started. And you're going to need your, oops, Stormtrooper went, crashed. You're going to need your phone for this part of it. So it's going to bolt in frame here. And we're going to hit open to activate on phone. And as you can tell, it's going to open. Okay, once you get uh, the connected section there, a uh, quick tip, if it does um, hang up when you're trying to install that right there, uh, just reset your phone and you should be good to go. I just learned that the hard way. All right, so it says activate Google Assistant. So you get a little activate button down here. We're gonna hit that in just a second. System be right back. You can access your assist uh, system with a power word there and give you hands-free help you have to agree to your voice match that i already have built in we're going to turn on personal um, personal responses you can adjust it and it tells you there that you could uh oops oops i just closed it but anyways it was finished it was just it was just going to tell us that we could um, um Install it on the button on the Galaxy Watch 4, which is fantastic. So now, if you go down here to your app screen, if you go down to your bottom where it installed it, it's all the way down here. And now you can talk to your Google Assistant. There, but one thing I wanted to show you before I left here is how do you get that on your button? Because right now the button is still Bigsby. And so I'm sure some of us are gonna to wanna to change that out. And to do that, it's really simple. Uh, just go over here to settings, swipe down, go to settings, and then we're gonna to go to advanced features. And then we'll go down to customize keys. And you have the double press and the press and hold, which says wake big speed now. And now you have power off menu. And now you have a brand new um, toggle there for assistant. Okay, so now we can just long press this button. Test, test, test. No one told me there would be a test. <laughs> and you have your Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 4 finally. Uh, it's going to work fantastic. Like I said in uh, previous videos, um, I prefer the Google Assistant mostly just because of my home control. My smart home is definitely a Google home, and it's just a lot easier to control it than it is with uh, Bixby. But, yeah, totally cool. We will, as you can see, Bixby just popped up. So I will do a full review uh, between Galaxy, uh, I'm sorry, with uh, Big Speed and the Google Assistant on the Galaxy Watch 4. So as you can, she's pretty happy, keeps wanting to show back up. So you can use them both at the same time. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, if you want to see that later, uh, subscribe to the channel and I will catch you on the next one.